Hello, fundraising family. My name is Christy. And my name is Eric. Oh, that was a very deep voice. Hello. It's a pleasure <laughs> to see you. We are talking today about environmental sustainability. We all know it's crucial to our planet, but what can you do to join this tidying up movement? So first, let's take a look at some of the facts about sustainability and what humans do to their environment right now. As of right now, Americans themselves put out 81 pounds of clothing as trash every year. I don't even think I own 81 pounds of clothes myself. Actually, wow. that's a lot. That's, that's a per lot. person? That's per person. Oh my God. Each year, Americans throw away 300 million pairs of shoes. Three. It's one more than two. <laughs> and shoes themselves can take 30 to 50 years to decompose completely in a landfill. That's a long time, and they smell bad. It's, a lot, it's harmful for the environment. Because their shoes and their trash. And they're toxic. It's a double whammy. <laughs> but the good news is, around the world, 70% of the global population uses repurposed clothing and shoes. So there is some hope. There's some hope. <laughs> so if you're one of the growing numbers of Americans that are worried about environmental sustainability, what are some things that you can do this summer to change the world? Well, one, instead of just going out there and taking a long plane ride to somewhere you really don't care about, you can actually look into an eco-vacation. It's a growing industry in America because so many people are worried about the environmental sustainability of our country. I'm gonna say it four times this whole video. <laughs> so what can you do? You can take a trip instead of by plane, take a car trip to the Appalachian Trail. You can go see the uh, Antelope Canyon. You can do all kinds of fun things, something that's local or something that's fun, instead of taking a plane and burning off all the dinosaur fuels. <laughs> There's only so many dinosaurs. Number two. Practice green grilling. Like you can you can grill like green beans, you can grill green pepper, like my fiance is vegan. We, we grill uh, eggplant, which is purple, but still it's like green grilling. No. And then, what? That's, not, that's green not green grilling. That's not green grilling. Well, what's green grilling? Green grilling is when you utilize things like natural gas instead of using petroleum-based lighter fluids. Mm. Yes. Okay. I mean, what's, okay. a, what's the summer? I mean, a grill, grilled green peppers is really good. Yeah, we will. We'll okay, we, it'll, be, like it'll be double the green novel. grilling. It's delicious. What is a summer without a cookout on the 4th of July? That's true. Oh, also, speaking of summertime, something else you can do, especially here in Florida where it's hot, when you leave the house, don't forget to turn your AC either off or just down. It helps to reduce your carbon footprint. It helps with environmental stability. Yeah, five times. Sustainability. <laughs> oh, dang it. He meant sustainability. Sustainability. What did I say? S what is it? Stability. What is environmental stability? What is environmental sustainability? Sustainability. Number four, or three, because, you know, he kind of butted it. Number, Number seven. Three. Number whatever. Twelve is to repurpose your clothing and shoes. There are multiple ways you can do this, but the number one is to host a shoe drive fundraiser with Funds to Orgs. With Funds to Orgs. There's nothing behind me to point at. <laughs> the sign's not there. I know, the sign's okay. literally right to do. It's my hat. This funds the orgs. Good. With funds to orgs, you as an individual or an organization, church, nonprofit, can raise funds just by collecting shoes from your community. And funds to orgs will cut you a check for all the gently worn used and new shoes you collect. Yeah, and you can turn that 81 pounds of trash that everybody throws away every year in clothing and repurpose them into something for somebody else to use. And another thing you can do is uh, go to head to toe recycling. And when you're cleaning out your closets and you're tidying up, you can fill those bags and make a donation to a nonprofit of your choice. Yeah, you're not only helping your environmental sustainability, you're also helping people all around the world to get clothes that they might not have had. And it's a win-win. This is a win-win. They can walk a mile in your shoes, literally. Literally. So no matter what you do this summer to help the environment, every single one of us needs to play our part because they're saying by 2066, this world will be poisoned and we need to change that. We can only do it together. There is no planet B. It's true. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you again for watching. My name's Christy. And my name's Eric. Make sure you click all those buttons and follow us. Bye. We'll see you guys next time. And then, um. oh my God. Okay. okay. <laughs> of the Yeet, yeah, uh, uh. back. So if you're one of the growing people, if you're one of the grow, let me start again. Come on. Come on, join the environmental Come on, join us. Come on, join us. It'll be fun. Join us. <laughs>